The universe. A mysterious and cold place. It's full of different constellations. Some are warm enough and inhabitable like the earth. But some are too cold or too hot, too big or too small. And these factors can cause an inhabitable planet to become uninhabitable. When will the Earth become uninhabitable? There are numerous ways. It's probable to say that this won't happen. There are things that go beyond our thoughts. We're trapped on this globe. A globe that we cannot steer. If we can't even get along with one another, look at the wars, crimes, terrorism. How can we care for our planet? How long does the Earth have before she becomes uninhabitable? We are looking for answers. We are searching for possibilities. How long does the Earth still have? The Earth. The Blue Planet. One of the few inhabitable planets in the universe. It's a place which is teeming with life. Everywhere around you, you'll find plants and animals. Two thirds of the Earth's surface is water. The water that we drink, the water we give to our plants, it keeps us alive. The Earth is a place which is full of love. Our loved ones are here. Nature, people. But will this remain the same? One of our best friends, a face that you see every night. The moon. She's more than 230 miles from the Earth. Yet she has a high impact on our lives. Let's take a closer look at the moon. You'll probably know that the moon faces the Earth with one side. We will never see the backside of the moon. Through the gravitation interaction between the Earth and the moon, the same thing can happen to the Earth. The moon and the Earth will eventually turn towards one another. This will result in extreme warmth on the one side and ice cold temperatures on the other side. Luckily, we have 50 billion years before the one day that we know today will become 30 days. This means if left to gravitation interaction, it will take 50 billion years. Have you ever heard of the name M31? M31, also known as the Andromeda Galaxy, is one of our neighbors when we talk about galaxies. It's more than 2 million light years from here. That's about 14 quintillion miles. This sounds like far away, but on the large scale of huge, gigantic objects, it is just a small distance. To put things into comparison, if you put two CDs eight feet from one another, that's about the distance we're talking about. What happens is that the CDs move like everything in the universe. The moon circles the earth. The earth circles the sun. The sun 
circles the center of the Milky Way and also galaxies are in motion. The Andromeda Galaxy and our Milky Way are approaching one another. This will eventually lead to a collision between these two galaxies. This galaxy carries stars which are thousands times bigger than our Sun. If the Earth is not hit by another constellation, then it could lose its orbit around the Sun because of a magnetic field. Or even worse, the Earth could be propelled towards the Sun. This process will take about three and a half billion years. Our time is getting shorter. Because of these two events, the Earth does not have more than three and a half billion years. But that's not everything. Another problem which we already are experiencing can also cause the world to become uninhabitable. Global warming. This is caused not only by us, but also because of a growing sun. Eventually, radiation and increasing temperatures will cause our oceans to evaporate. These water molecules will become disintegrated in the higher atmosphere. The Earth will change into a large, empty desert. This process increases the erosion of minerals, which increases carbon dioxide emissions. This will cause a drop in the carbon dioxide concentrations, which is bad for life on Earth. Plants will die. This will cause a deficiency in oxygen levels. Plants produce oxygen. We breathe it in to survive. When the plants die, first the higher forms of life will become extinct, followed by the smaller, tougher organisms. Eventually, all life will disappear. Because of this process, the Earth has a maximum of one billion years. Our planet has less and less time, but we're not there yet. Our planet has been threatened before. Our planet has been hit before. Meteorites pose a great threat to our planet. About 250 million years ago, the Earth had such a fatal collision. This caused the end of the era we call the Perm. It's also probable that about 66 million years ago, a meteorite collided with the Earth, causing the extinction of the dinosaurs. At this very moment, we're watching thousands of meteorites because they have a chance of colliding with the Earth. And consider that we have only seen about 2% of the universe. The chance that the Earth will be hit by a meteorite within 1 billion years is big, and almost unlikely that it won't happen. But not only a collision can be fatal. As soon as the Earth approaches another object, a magnetic field can change the Earth's orbit. You can ask the question, what is worse? an impact where the chance of survival is smaller than small, or that the Earth loses its orbit around the Sun, casting it into cold space, or that we lose our orbit, but not towards cold outer space, but towards our own Sun. This would be a painful and sad end to our Earth, consumed by our own Sun. Meteorites hitting the Earth is nothing new. Many predictions have been made. They said that it would happen in 2004, in 2012, and in 2032. Maybe it won't happen in the next hundred years. 
but there's a big chance it will happen within 100,000 years. 100,000 years. The end is almost in sight. What can we do in 100,000 years? Can you see it? Can you feel its power? The problem is that we can't really see it. It's also called a black hole. A black hole is so strong that not even light can escape from it. If we even get close to a black hole, then it's the end of story. The Earth will be totally lost. We've talked about different things, but there are a number of possibilities which can cause the end of the Earth. Gamma bursts, solar flares, neutron stars, rising sea levels, ozone depletion, volcanoes, UV and other radiation, overpopulation, diseases, wars, hunger and famine. We can't know for certain when the Earth may become uninhabitable, but we know for sure that life cannot go on forever. Maybe something will happen tomorrow.